We have some breaking news from overnight. Several people have to find a new place to stay after a fire affected multiple townhomes. This happened in Murfreesboro. And News Channel 5 Sophie Nielsen Colding joins us now live from West Main Street where that fire happened. And Sophie, how many people total have been affected by this? Four people were displaced last night. And what's scary about this is fire crews think that the rafters of this unit over here, H, were actually burning long before anybody even smelled the smoke. This all happened around 1.30 last night. The fire department was called out here. It turns out the fire started above a ventilation fan in an upstairs bathroom. Fire department is going to send out an investigator, though, to see exactly what sparked the fire. But according to firefighters, the breaker was cut off at some point after residents had actually reported issues with the ventilation fan earlier yesterday. Somewhere in between there, those rafters caught fire and they burned for quite some time before residents smelled the smoke, reported it to the fire department. Originally, the whole building was evacuated, but now there's maybe just one unit that doesn't have power. Uh, residents there say that they can still smell a little bit of smoke, no damage. If there is damage, it's isolated to this uh, unit H over here. The Red Cross was here overnight to help people with a place to stay. Luckily, people had other friends, family they could stay with. Uh, but the investigator is going to be out later today to find exactly what started the fire. Good news. Nobody hurt in all of this. Live in Murfreesboro, Sophie Nelson Colding, News Channel 5.